how's this going to change things? And I literally start tearing up because I know where we came from and I know the hard work and I know the grind and the facilities, they weren't that great, but we love to play the game. You give these athletes today something like this, you're changing lives. For me, this is, this is personal. And I think anybody that walks through the doors of the new facility are gonna feel that energy. They're gonna feel that magic. And I think it's gonna bring out the best, not only the athletes, but your traditional student body and the surrounding community. In a lot of ways, it's long overdue, but it's a perfect timing. Uh, we're looking to grow the uh, student body in general. Uh, we need a spot for to compete. We need a better venue for our indoor sports, volleyball and uh, the uh, basketball teams. The better athletes that we've lost in the past will now want to come here because of the new facility. You know, most of our teams make nationals every year already. We want to win some national championships. Uh, I think we can do it. I think the new facility is going to be a huge impact on that. The weight room, for example, is going to be a state-of-the-art weight room. It's going to be like two and a half times bigger than what we have now. We'll be able to really train more than one team at a time. Uh, we have an excellent strength and conditioning coach. Uh, we have an excellent athletic trainers to help with the rehabilitation that the weight room will help with quite a bit. So just overall, it's just going to be a much, much better uh, scenario for us. And I can see it's growing athletically when it comes to competition. We're going to get better than we already are. What this facility means to me is something that I have been looking forward to since the day I was hired. For 19 years, we have been hearing about it's happening, it's happening. But when they said they're bringing the, the silver shovels up there and uh, they're gonna dig that ground, I wanted to park a lawn chair up there and just watch the excitement happen. Uh, I am overwhelmed with the construction and, and seeing all the cranes and seeing what, you know, that's gonna be the front door and this is gonna be the, the gym floor. And um, just to tell other players and our current athletes, our future athletes, I love to watch their faces when we see that. They get a big smile. Um, some of the ones that won't be here look <laughs> disappointed because they wanna be a part of it too. Uh, but once you're a Bruin, you're always a Bruin here. It, one, it's, it's very exciting because uh, I started from very humble beginnings here and really nothing more than a closet. So for the athletes of the future, it's gonna be a facility they'll come into and go, oh wow, this is, a, this is a pretty cool place. And I think that kind of excitement is gonna to continue to allow our programs to grow through all, through all the different teams. We'll have probably about nine tables like you see behind me instead of four. And uh, there'll be a cold tub, which should be able to fit, fit about eight to 10 athletes at one time. And that'll be really nice. No more scooping ice, no more hauling ice, no more filling up tubs. So it'll just be cold all the time. I said I want to put electricity down the middle of the room so I can use some electrical modalities. So literally if I want to double the room's treatment size, I can go to 18 tables in the room. Uh, so that may help that, that athlete trainer in the future. You know, as we grow, expand, add more sports, there'll be more athletes, be more injuries. So we want to have room to facilitate more treatments. So that was kind of one of the things that I did with that. This new facility is going to be major for recruitment. I think that's the one thing that we're kind of missing right now. Um, and who doesn't want to play in a really nice brand new gym? Um, so I'd say when I have to talk to new recruits and stuff, I'm like, what we have now is cool, but what we're about to have is even better. So like, don't be afraid of like this. It's going to be like 20 times better than what you see now. How this will play out in the future, I, I think it's a story to be written. When I came to Bellevue University in 95, we had one master's program, about 2,000 students. And the beauty of Bellevue, and I tell new employees coming in all the time, is the ideas and the creativity and the opportunities that everyone's willing to pitch in on. I'm challenging the coaches and uh, the leaders to think about how do we leverage the facilities? What other things can we do? Can we do camps? Can we do more competitions? Can we um, enhance the ability of the community to use the facility and how does that work? I think people are gonna be stunned 
by what we can do and who we are and what kind of um, higher educational institution organization they work at. And I, I can't wait to see that pride come through and I can't wait to see that excitement to bring their families, bring people on campus and go, look where I work. <laughs>